using the Audial website, we are going to talk about step by step approach like how we will make the Audial account and how we will fill the application. Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. Faraz Ahmad. So today I am on my shift basically, night shift and it's my break time. So I am making this video. Today is 26th of October and from today they are going to open the portal on the Oriel website. Basically they are accepting the applications for the GP training. So in this video using the Oriel website we are going to talk about step by step approach like how we will make the Oriel account and how we will fill the application of GP training particularly so if you want to apply for other trainings and you can also use this portal in the similar way you have to make the account and you have to fill the application in the similar way but keep in mind today's application is basically basically focused on the GP training so I will show you everything using this website I will also let you know that how you can start the application how you have to fill the experience how you have to give the references how you have to select the preferences and I at the end we will discuss about the closing of the application as well so let's go to the laptop screen and then i will show you everything so here i have tried to explain the whole process of the gp training so the first step is you have to fill the application and they will see your application and they will do the long listing of the candidates so after this after doing the short listing they will send you the invite for the msra exam and you will appear in the exam then they will demand for the ranking of the job and they will send you the job offers as well so after having the job offer you will have the pre-employment checkup and if you clear everything definitely you are going to start the gp training or the process basically you will open any of the browser and you will write gp training application process open the first link how to apply the gp training and here you can see this page of the health education england will open in front of you gp specialty training recruitment so you can read all the content overview you can read the recruitment timeline you can read the eligibility criteria vacancies and the preferences you can read about the msra and rest of the things so basically apply for the gp training and you you can apply using the Oriel website. You will click on the apply Oriel and this page will open in front of you. You can see if you have an account, you can directly log in. Otherwise, you have to register yourself. So what you have to do to get yourself registered, you will click on this button of the register and this will take you to the next page here. You can see you have to select register to apply to the medical and the public health training program register to apply to the medical and the public health training program you will open this and after clicking on this option you will select the continue button and here you have to enter your personal details including your surname first name middle name title date of birth whatever they are asking here you have to enter the next option is account information you will enter your email address again confirmation password everything then you will read these questions and you will answer accordingly after this you will submit over here and once you will submit your account will be created then now your account is created and you have to log in click on the login enter your email and the password so so this page of the Oriel website this is official page it will open in front of you it contain uh, you contain your details dashboard documents application preferences messages all the details over here so here you can see in the quick access shortcut you can see the vacancies so here you can see the vacancies you will click on this button of the vacancies and this page will open in front of you here you have to search like we are going to apply for the GP training here in the searching criteria you will write the GP select the GP NRO general practice ST1 you are going to apply for the GP training ST1 here you can see GP NRO general practice ST1 you can see this is the medical general practice specialty training uh, this is going to start in the Feb 2024 and United Kingdom here you can see the opening and the closing date of the applications everything is written over here okay so you must be aware like this is three year training 36 month training and then you have to do you have to click on the continue but it will take you toward the next page and here you have to application form one application form part two supporting information you have to add the preferences you have to confirm and submit the application 
so here you have to enter your personal information the contact information is the first one in the personal information you have to enter your personal details everyone knows personal details of their own so you have to submit then you have to enter the right to work in the united kingdom this is simple step you have to follow this step as well so after entering the right to work in the united kingdom you will go down and it will ask you your current immigration status if you're working currently over here you will select yes i am working on the title to visa and then they are going to ask you regarding your uh, organization name who is sponsor of your visa and then they are going to ask after asking the sponsorship name they are going to ask your brp number uh, start date and the expiry date of the brp then you have to select the next button then when you will do this page will open in front of you here you can see personal information is done then we are going next the next is equality and the diversity information in the monitoring information you will write these details you will read this question and you will simply uh, give the if answer if you want to apply in the northern ireland you have to fill this box so after filling this your application is almost done then you will move toward the employment history so you have to give your full employment history what you have done after your graduation please keep in mind you have to enter your all details of your employment from starting date your employer your hospital your title everything so after entering all the details you will click on the add button and then after clicking on the add on button you will also mention about the employment gap as well so you will see over here that i have entered my details over here here uh, from my house job and in this way you have to enter the correct details please keep in mind you have to enter the correct details and here you can see when i will click on the add button my one house job application or the rotation is added over here in this way you have to add all the uh, rotations or all the jobs here you can see after the house job and i have entered all the four rotations of my house job so after entering the house job what i have done i have entered my medical officer job uh, in the pakistan and then i have entered my current uh, current job in uh, england and i have entered my previous job in scotland as well in this way you will write your employment history guys so after doing this you can see application form one is complete application form part two now we are going application form part two you will select this and here you have to write the training history previous history references fitness to practice and the competencies and the de uh, declarations so again this is very simple the training history you will read these questions and you have to answer this okay please keep in mind these are the very simple questions specialty training uh, year one and you have to uh, read these questions very clearly and you have to answer these questions as per your circumstances everyone's circumstances are different so you have to answer them as per your circumstances okay then you will add the personal details so you will enter all these details personal okay after entering all these things these are very simple questions you will move forward okay uh, i have shown you the details which i have entered if you want to copy you can copy them as Here you can see we have entered the information of the training history after doing this we are going toward the references so please keep in mind you have to give at least at least three references during the last two years and the one reference must be your current or the most recent employer like one uh, you know uh, consultant or the one your reference should be most recent one so they are saying that they will check your references they are they will check the references or the referees during the pre-employment checkup period so here you have to give the employment training at the post one reference number the most recent one you have to enter over here please keep in mind the most recent one should be here so after entering the first reference you have to enter the reference of the second job reference of the third job so in this way you will add your references so after the references we are going toward the fitness to practice this is again very easy please give it a read and once you will give uh, this a read you can easily give the answers of these questions this is very very simple again this is uh, related to every person competencies and the eligibility so what you have to do you have to read these questions again so these are the personal questions so the answers can vary from person to person and you will answer accordingly i have given my answer and i i have shown in the video as well so this is important are you able to attach a certificate of the readiness are you able to attach the correct form i am not able to attach at the moment if you have you can select yes and if you select yes you can upload the correct form over here but if you don't attach the correct form you don't have the correct form you will select no and then he is saying you have to attach the correct form till the 3rd of october 2023 please don't worry this is not for the 2024 training please keep in mind this is not for the 2024 training this is the old video so you will answer the question accordingly then you have to enter your your qualification please 
please please this is again the uh, personal specific question and you have to enter your qualifications accordingly if you have maxillofacial you have to enter over here so then you will answer the question rest of the question and then you will select the rest so now we have done all these things references done fitness to practice done and the competency eligibility done now we are going toward the declaration so then after the confirmation it's asking you the sum of these things and you will read these things accordingly and you have to answer them so okay again uh, the answer can be different for the different people so after selection you have to give the declaration i have agreed to the declaration and you will select on the next button you can see we have done the supporting information and now after this we have to add the supporting information and then we will add preferences and the confirm so in the supporting information he is asking about the certificate of the completion of training no do you invite to the cct no we are going to enter in the specialty training then they are asking about the transportation if you have ever uh, you have the license uk license if you have international license if you are taking the classes if you have theory test pass so you have to read this and you have to answer accordingly so this is again different for the different people so after doing this you will click on the next button okay this is again very very important okay so then you will select uh, confirm the statement and then you will enter the next button so this page will open in front of you now you have entered the evidence is choosing the specialty training and now we will add the supporting information over here why you wanna go into the gp training you have to write the answer over here for the 200 words why do you want to join the gp training you have to write the very beautiful words over here recruitment application declaration you will read and you will select uh, uh, the yes button and then you will select the next button here now we have to add the preferences as well so here you can see preferences why they have divided the united kingdom that include england scotland wales and the northern ireland in 10 to 14 deaneries at the sections you can say so here you can see that the in east of the midland 352 seats east of england 421 seats in this way they have allocated following seats and you can see these details easily in this picture so now i will tell you how you can select the different sections different deaneries where you want to work so like here you can see over here on the left hand side they have given all the dnds which are 10 to 14 in numbers so wherever you want to work you will just select that dnd and then subsections or the sub dnds or the sub regions will open and you have to select the sub regions as well in this way guys you will select these dnds and then you will select the sub regions and then your selected dnds and the selected uh, regions will come in front of you uh, like this and now these are the regions which you have selected still you have to do still you have to rank them now i will let you know that how you will rank them you have to click one region like this and then you will bring this region on the left hand side so in this way you will bring one one region to rank them like the first region will you will bring it will come on the rank one the second will come on the rank three in this way guys you have to rank your region so in this way guys we will do our ranking i have dragged from the right hand side to left hand side and this is rank number one i will do the second one and this is my rank number two in the same way i will do all and you can see rank four five and six so in this way guys you have to do all your ranking this is very very important step so in this way guys after doing the preferences and after giving the rankings you have to confirm that you have entered all the information carefully and then you have to submit your application please keep in mind ranking and the preferences is very important step in those areas where you don't want to work please don't rank those areas for example if you're living in the london and you cannot work in scotland don't give ranking or the preferences to scotland so guys this is very important steps which i have just mentioned in this video if you have any any question you can ask me in the comment box or you can directly follow me on the instagram i would like to answer your comments and i would like to reply your messages thank you very much for watching this video